come on. Who has the copper sink? I do. <laughs> Hit it. Okay, it was quite an undertaking. A whole lot of ingenuity, a whole lot of creativity, a whole lot of not taking no for an answer, which is what I'm all about. Joel did an amazing job. We have hot and cold on this faucet, hot and cold on that faucet. Here's the story behind the sink. So we um, moved up here. If you're brand new to um, Parisian Farm Girl and our little everyday chateau episodes, we moved up from Chicagoland to this dream location of Door County oh, six months ago. It's almost six months now. And while we were living in Chicagoland, we were renting a farm um, as part of our plan to move up here. And I was attending pop-up sales and barn sales and garage sales throughout the years, just gathering pieces that I thought would be fantastic in our future home someday. So one day my mom calls me and she's like, Ange, my mom's an amazing picker. She says, Ange, I found this sink. You gotta come and check out this sink. It's from France, from a restaurant, it's huge. You gotta have it. So I meet her at this barn. I find this sink, it's brown. It's got cobwebs in it. It is funky and filthy. And of course I fell in love with it and bought it and I stored it in my barn for a few years. So what you're seeing here, almost everything Joel and I do is about delayed gratification. Okay, we're, we're working for it, we're waiting for it. This sink is total delayed gratification because it was sitting in our barn for a couple years and now it's in my kitchen and I'm so happy. So it is actually not from France. While we were working on it and cleaning it up, we found a sticker underneath and it is from Chicago, which is cool because we moved up from Chicagoland. Love that. Love those kind of details. And it's called a butler's sink. Um, so that's awesome. Called a butler's sink. Uh, actually, I've been doing a little research and I have not been able to find another vintage copper sink online. I think this is a very, very unique piece of hardware. I did find one on Etsy. It's still on Etsy if you yourself would like a copper sink. It's $3,000. <laughs> I'm very pleased to share with you that I did not pay $3,000 for this sink. Not even close. Um, and I did find one. It's the half size version of this that looks like it sold at an auction, an antiques auction many years ago and the, the listing is still there. So this is cool. These are not bolted down yet so I'm gonna show you this detail. I love these. Aren't these amazing? They're copper. I love the Verdigree. I love the Verdigree on this sink. It geeks me out. But I thought, you know what, I don't need four faucets. I was originally going to put in soap dispensers for the kids when they're washing dishes for their mama. But I thought, how cool just to keep the historical aspect of the sink and keep these non-working faucets right here. So that's what we have. And then I bought these on Amazon or eBay or something and I like them. So I've got it skirted with some of my favorite French linen from the old farm and um, in trying to keep uh, a handle on the money spending and the creativity going on here I was going to use barn beams to hold up this sink but that is très cher. So I opted instead. Joel went out to the wood and cut down some uh, birch trees for me for the potage project that we're doing outside and I said well let's just bring some of the birch inside it's Dora County after all birch everywhere and so we've got these really cool birch logs holding up the sink and the countertops as we decide what to do with the rest of the kitchen <sighs> I couldn't be happier so I am going to go cut some lilacs stage a picture for Instagram have some fun and I can't believe this is in my kitchen What happened? Where is it going? <laughs>
Oh, oh my. Yeah, all over my drop cloth. All over you. Forget your drop cloth. It's like $40 worth of organic eggs. Don't break the ones that aren't broke. Oh. <sighs> it just fell right off of the. Uh... The vibration must have made it fall. It's sitting right there, I guess. <laughs> Golly, we better hurry up and clean this up. It's gonna smell like rotten eggs in here. Guess I'm not gonna wear these pants anymore. Don't wipe it on me, please.